Four and a half minutes after seven o'clock in Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, the Lord Kitchener reminding England that we are the champions. Uh, that's not the national song for Croatia, uh, by the way, because they've just beaten England in the, the semi-finals of the World Cup. We're just putting a little sporting twist uh, to our morning edition. We usually uh, would, would feature uh, a bit of a sporting calypso every now and then. And that was in reference uh, to the West Indies dominance of the 1960s. We talk about the 70s and the 80s, but people often forget that the West Indies were number one in the world in the 1960s with Sobers and Worrell and uh, Basil Butcher and Kanai and Conrad Hunt and Wes Hall and Charlie Griffith and so on. But anyway, enough of that. Let, let's talk about politics, which is a different game by itself. So we'll find out who are the champions when it comes to the local government elections on Monday for Belmont East and Barataria, uh, seats held uh, by the People's National Movement. But even though the Movement for Social Justice is not contesting either of those two seats, the party is keeping busy by visiting various communities. Earlier in the week, uh, the leader of the MSJ, David Abdullah, was in Karanaj, and some weeks before, he was in St. Barb's and Laventil, trying to get a sense of the public's concerns in this election season. Well, we're joined by two key members of the MSG uh, to, to give us their own perspective on the importance of the local government elections and the process and the issue of reform if it's ever going to happen. We have Theophilus Henry, who's an executive member of the MSG, and uh, we also have uh, with us uh, Radhika Golbans, deputy political leader of uh, the Movement for Social Justice. Good morning to you both. Good to have you on the program. And by the way, just very quickly, if you're asking how come after we got the PEP last week, we haven't seen the the PNM or the UNC, let me just tell you, we've been trying very, very hard to get these personalities, but so far, no, no, no success. So it's not as if we are discriminating against anybody or leaving anybody out. We can only invite if people choose not to accept. That is their right. That is their choice. It's not like lawyers where you get a letter in your tail and you have to respond, otherwise they'll come and lock you up. This is, this is by choice and we have invited PNM, UNC, nothing so far, elections Monday, but we are grateful to have the MSG here with us. Ms. Goldbans, let me ask you immediately. The, 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 the question will be asked, well, if the MSG claims to be representative of the, of the ordinary people of Trinidad and Tobago, why don't you have a presence on Monday's elections? Well, for the Monday election with local government, for me, it's, it's, it's daunting. What are they talking about? What are they going around talking to the people about? Are they going again with a normal political routine of promises of decentralization and so on. There is no power at local government. So with one year left for the next um, local government election, it doesn't make sense that MSJ get involved in that race come Monday the 16th of um, But July. wouldn't that be a statement of intent that look, even if we may not uh, win any votes, we might lose deposit or whatever, that it shows that the MSG intends to be a truly national party. We have to vo um, focus on the bigger picture, which is local government election in 2019. So we are going out there into the communities, hearing the concerns of the people and understanding why local government has failed. We all know why local government has failed. It's because there is a, a political crisis in leadership. So our work continues. We are not going to get involved in, in July the 16th. I don't know what they're telling those people when they go out. And they're, they're, um, I saw in one of their pamphlets, their, their slogan is, on the path to progress, what it is they're talking about as to this progress, when there's no room, there's been no evidence of local government reform. After 25 years, both UNC and PNM produce approximately five papers, and there's still no, no, no decentralization, no reform. Theophilus Henry, let me bring you to the discussion here. Uh, as far as uh, we mentioned in our introduction, uh, the leader of the MSJ, David Abdullah, going to a number of different communities and so on. Uh, and that could be taken uh, two ways, that it is a sincere intention to, to get the, the views on the ground, or it's a photo opportunity, or it's an opportunity to feed off the misfortune of others for, for political gain, like going in Karanaj. He could be excused of making excuses for criminality by talking about people lacking opportunities and so on. From, from your perspective, what value do you see in either David Abdullah or yourself or Ms. Golbans or anyone else from the MSG going into these communities? Because the question could, could, could be posed to you, what you're trying to find out? We already know what the challenges are for those communities. And, and, and certainly, Fraser, good morning once again. Um, the, the, the fact is that we all know that there are problems within communities. We all know the problem, what the problems are. But yet still, 
persons are complaining there is no real um, concern and not being addressed. So the visit by MSJ throughout the communities is ready to touch base and to help re-educate those individuals as to what really representation ought to be. Right? We let, see, let me just add there to yeah. um, Tio. We don't go into a community. We are invited into communities. Indigo Martin, Caronage, yes. and, and, and Laventel. We were invited to come and see the problem. They want representation. Their MPs are not delivering. Their, their prime minister is not delivering. We went into Laventel where there are beautiful homes hand built by people because it's steps leading up to the yes. homes. And these people have a crisis in terms of drainage. And the prime minister will tell them you have to fix it yourself. In Caronage, garbage is a problem. We have been in there, we mm, were invited in there yeah. to deal with the garbage issue. We, we don't go into our community. We are invited into our community when people feel that they have no more hope. Somebody got to help us, and MSJ has delivered every time we visited our community. Explain what that means, because delivered what? Delivered promises? Delivered, delivered something? We actually got things done. Mm. When we went to Caronage, the time when they had the, the problem with the garbage on, and Indigo Martin, huge amounts of, of garbage, really stench from a great distance off. And the very next day, the garbage truck came in, cleaned up the place. But after another week, it reoccurred. They had a problem with water and, and so on, and we went and we looked at it and we made our little lobbying, and then we also went in and, and fixed it up. So it shows that there is a will, if there is a way, but people sometimes don't know how to mobilize. Let me bring the, uh, Mr. Mr. Henry back into the discussion once more. As far as going into those communities, or being invited into those communities. Uh, and, and, and of course, you will be reaching out to people who are frustrated, uh, who, are, who are fed up, with the services that they are getting or that they are not getting. But at the end of the day, it's about being able to get those people to, to recognize that the MSG is a viable alternative. And the view is often expressed that people take whatever they can get from the MSG, but vote for their party, vote for well, PNM or vote for UNC. Well, maybe that is so. But what we are interested in really, Fazi, is to really re-educating the people. There are complaints all over the country. But there, there is just simply that complaints Nobody really working towards fixing anything. And we are working from on the ground. We believe in re-educating the people, getting to the person, giving them, giving them the, 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 the authority to get themselves together, organize themselves properly, because there are no representation otherwise. But are they willing yeah. to do that? Are they willing they, to actually mobilize themselves with advice from the MSG and other, uh, other organizations maybe? But uh, are they expecting you to solve all the problems for them, for, for you to, 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 to fix the garbage, to fix the roads, to fix the drains? Are they actually willing to mobilize themselves? We have been having those same conversations with those individuals when you go into their villages. We are, learning, we are helping them get, them get themselves together, organize themselves. Because we ourselves cannot represent going there and do represent their issues. They must come together and represent their, their, their issues. Because local government is really about the people organizing themselves, they are uplifting them, their communities. But presently, the system does not allow that. You have councillors at this time, wherever they are, representing parties rather than representing the people. So you go campaign, go look for votes, and at the time, when, you are, when you have won the election, people start to complain that they are not seeing you. They now have to make appointment to see those very councillors who ought to be on the ground taking your issues or working with the community to get issues solved. And it happens across the, it happens across the, the country. And over as long as you, 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 are, you, you hear people speak, everyone is complaining because there is no vision, there is no hope, in the, and people resort to protest. But we are saying there has to be a system, a reform of the system, whereby persons could really activate whatever is needed in their communities, roads, water, bridges. I, am, I come from the area district, and there's the worst set of roads or bridges that is in the, w w within the Supply Regional Corporation. I think we have a, um, a, a road there, Jackson Trace in Buenos Aires, three bridges, which is the worst set of bridges really in the country, where you have farmers, right? Cow went into to, to one of the, the, the precipices um, some time ago, and there are only promises. We will have protested to have roads reform during the last government, 2010-2015 period. And up to now, those roads have not been repaired. But people sit, wait, three years, going into five, 
with no reform. And, and Ms. Goldman, and, and that essentially is the issue as to whether or not the MSG has been successful, has been made any inroads into that culture of dependence, that dependency syndrome, that, that, that uh, and actually empowering people to either mobilize themselves or to have far more effective representation in that regard. Okay, that is why we do community intervention. When we do a community intervention, and again, it's by invitation from members in the community, they talk about the issues that they, they're faced with in the community on a daily basis. And coming out of that is how it can be resolved. And that is a part of the, the proposal of the MSJ for local government reform, how to empower the community to make the necessary changes that they want and to, to determine what they need to have done. Now, with local government reform, as the MSJ has it, you find that it brings power into the community, not the Ministry of Local Government. The Ministry of Local Government will be there to interface with local government. And your local government will comprise of community NGOs, uh, the councillors, and so on, where the people of that community <coughs> get together and determine what is to be done and not be, not, not be determined by central government. But how hopeful are you? I mean, we, we've been hearing every so often, we hear about local government reform, uh, but we don't see anything. You don't, you don't see anything concrete as far as a transformation of our local government uh, system. What is the MSG advocating? Okay, the, the, there's no, no transformation now because of the fact that both UNC and PNM love power and, and they love the centralization of power. What we are talking about is the devolution of power <coughs> and moving <coughs> power from central government to local government. So you find like we're even talking about statutory allocation of resources into the, into the community so that it is similar like to the House of Assembly, Tobago House of Assembly, where a certain amount of resources will be allocated to each, each um, region mm -hmm. so that they then can determine how that is spent and not already determined by the, the central <coughs> government. Excuse me again, I, sure. I don't know where this cough come from, but, but um, uh, go ahead, sorry, right. sorry for So I find like that is one of our main thing, that, that statutory allocation. And what we're even advocating for also is for this local <coughs> government reform to be embedded in our constitution because that is a key governance issue of how, okay, let us put it, the editorial of the Express once put it, I think it was just about two weeks ago, that local government is the closest the people can be to the government and is the closest the government can be to the people if there is proper reform. As it exists, no, that doesn't happen. The power lies in <coughs> central government. And when you have political changes, party changes, the constituency then suffers. If it's PNM in power, then the UNC constituency sour, suffers. And that is how it keeps going with the current system of um, local government. And uh, Mr. Henry, you, you talked about your own situation. And I, again, I do apologize for the coughing situation <laughs> and for listeners. And I know it can be very irritating when you have a discussion about people coughing all this. So I do apologize for that. Hopefully, it's settled down now. Uh, but Mr. Henry, from your own perspective, as, as someone who would be in a community that clearly based on what you're saying that uh, there would be evidence of neglect. What uh, the, can the MSG offer? Because at the end of the day, people will be saying, okay, we're hearing what you're all saying. You've been to our community. You're all are saying all the right things. You're not going to be in the elections on July 16th because you don't see it as, as being useful. But what, what are you offering for, for the local government elections next year, general elections? What is the MSG? Uh, what is that, that, that recipe, what prescription are you prepared to offer to the wider population? We, we are putting forward to the population really reform, to get the community's involvement. Because under this present system, there really won't be anything done. Right? So we really um, have been going around and speaking to the individ individuals, speaking to the communities, so that they can see what we are putting forward to them, so that we can really be voted in because I mean, that is what it is. You can't make any changes if you're not, well, like if, the if you are not there. Well, like the village council. That, that's right. Yeah. Because I, I'm also a president of a village council. And also will have been a candidate in the 2013 general um, local government election. And things that will have been there, concerns or concerns in the village, has remained the same. Nothing has changed. And this is about six years. And, and time has yeah. just about yes. run out uh, on us. Uh, but very quickly, Ms. Goldbans, what would you be, be, be saying to, to the electorate? Because uh, as, as uh, Mr. Henry said correctly, um, you could talk as much as you want. You could mobilize as much as you want. You, you have to get the electorate to come on board with you. 
and, and, and still many will say that MSJ is a fringe organization that, that people can only get representation as bad as it is by going either PNM or UNC. What would you say in response the to that? The thing is, once the people, our citizens, recognize that strong communities are the hallmark of a progressive nation, they would begin to think that we need to, to mobilize with the MSG. We need to, to empower the MSG and empower themselves on the, to, to have this total reform take place. We can't continue going forward by keep giving um, central government all the power. And together, we have to change the relations of power at central government and move it to local government level. We we'll have to leave it there for the moment, but I'm sure we're going to have much more dialogue in relation to the MSG, the PEP, and of course the uh, the regulars, the PNM, uh, the UNC, and even other political entities that that see the need to to represent their causes and their concerns and their issues. We have local government elections by elections are on Monday full local government next year, general elections due in 2020. So election season is underway. It's been underway for quite a while here in Trinidad and Tobago. So we'll take a break as we come around towards 7.20 and return right after that.